El Santo, or in English, The Saint, is one of the most famous and iconic Mexican wrestlers, also referred to as one of the greatest legends in Mexican sports. His career spanned nearly five decades, in which he was the hero and symbol of justice for the common man through many wrestling films and comic book stories. But this isn't about wrestling. I'm taking you to this delicious Mexican restaurant in the heart of New Westminster, and it is called El Santo. Let's go check it out. with the head chef Sam. Thank you for having us and letting us ask you a few questions. Um, we would like to know how you got involved with cooking Mexican food. It was actually one of the first restaurants I worked at in Vancouver was Cobra. Okay. That was back quite a while ago and it was one of the premier like Latin American kind of Mexican South American restaurants and since then I just really had a passion for it. Um, so anytime I was working anywhere else I worked a lot of Italian and, and various but I was always kind of researching Mexican food, cooking Mexican food at home, trying to learn as much as I could about it. Mm -hmm. And so when, when El Santo was coming about, I was like, that's perfect, it's close to home, it's fantastic. Yeah. And kind of really helped to highlight that for me. And since then, I've just been growing and expanding what I know and doing yeah. everything I can for it. Yeah, that's amazing. There's so much flavors in Mexican food, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. I, that's why I love it. Um, how long have you been here and being head chef? I've been at El Santo since we opened, which was 2015. Um, and then about a year in I took over. I was a sous chef when we opened and then a year in uh, the, exec the executive chef left to open a food truck up, up north and then I took over and I've been, I've been here since. Nice! And what are some of the most popular dishes? Um, a chili relleno, which, oh which my is God. not incredibly <laughs> traditional. I love this! Can you describe <laughs> to everyone how you came up with the idea to I, make it the way it is. <laughs> okay, so it's not, it's, not, it's not traditional at all. Yeah. Um, we used to just bake the, the poblano peppers, stuff it, and serve it like that. But the problem with poblano peppers up here is you do not get consistent sizes. Yeah. You get some that were that big, some that were huge, and trying to keep that consistency was a big issue. Yeah. Um, so we needed to figure a way to incorporate everything that was in a chili relleno, but make it consistent, make it presentable, make it really nice for everybody. And so. Yeah. Um, we workshopped a lot, but we decided on what's called a pave, which mm -hmm. is like a layered dish. A lot of people refer to it as a lasagna. I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> yeah. But I, I understand where it comes from for them. Yeah. Um, so we start, we roast all our poblanos, we seed them, we take the skin off, and then we'll put a layer on the bottom, and then rice with, mixed with Oaxaca cheese, and then wow. another layer of poblano, and then queso wow. fresco, and layer of poblano, rice poblano, and then some more Oaxaca with a bit of mozzarella on top just to really get that crispness. Yeah. Um, and it's worked out really and well. People sauce, really like though, it. And the sauce though, the sauce underneath yeah, is the, the insane, <laughs> guys. Like, oh my Water. goodness. I don't know how you do your sauces, but I notice there's a ton of chilies at the front. Yes, we do, we do bring in, the main thing we import, we try and get as local as possible, except for things that we can't get here. So stuff yeah. like all of our chilies we import directly from Mexico. We have the ancho, the guajillo, the mm -hmm. cascabel, all the kinds of chilies and we make everything in house. So the sauce we make, we roast the, we roast the tomatoes, we roast all of our chilies. Mm -hmm. um, we make everything for it here, which is and the tortillas, right? The tortillas. We make the tortillas. Um, you the taco, like if it's not a homemade tortilla, it's not the best. <laughs> and these guys make homemade tortillas. <laughs> we make the tortillas, and we also make them fresh through the day, which a lot of places don't do. A lot of oh, places wow. make a lot in the morning and kind of reheat as they go. Yeah. But we have a, a wonderful machine in the back that really helps us make all of our tortillas. We make them every hour on the hour and make them through it and wow. it's always fresh. Well, that's amazing. Um, hopefully, <laughs> well, maybe we can come back and see how you make these beautiful dishes and Love that. take our viewers inside. Love that very much. Okay, let's go. <laughs> so here we are entering El Santo's kitchen. Let's see how they make this delicious food. Salsa, right? Yes. Yeah, the salsas here are insane. Let's go further. Wow, check out the. How do you say those peppers? Poblano. Poblano. 
And what's that for? The chili relleno or so just? This, this, some of these will be used for chili relleno. Some of these will be used for our various other salsas. Um, nice. And our, but there's taco, which is fried cauliflower. We mix with plano, camas, onions, and pumpkin garlic. Nice. So by roasting them, does it bring out more flavor? It, it brings out more flavor. It, it helps to camera some of the sugars and release the skin. Oh, uh, okay. Which are all very important things. But you can yeah. smell that in here now, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, the camera can't, but <laughs> we also fry all of our chips in house with the tortillas that we make. Nice. So that's the time we should be processed every morning. What is this sauce again? So, so this is for the salsa ranchera for the chili relleno. Okay. So there's chipotle, ancho chilies, roasted tomatoes, onions, garlic, wow. some, oil, some oil. You can actually see those uh, peppers already in there, the chilies. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. All of our anchos, our chipotles. Nice. Wow. This is the this is the sauce of the night, I think. That's on the chili <laughs> relleno. That's insane. Cannot wait to eat that. <laughs> And then we got some shrimp happening over here. Oh, so ceviche! So cutting up fresh shrimp for the ceviche. Nice. This is the maseca, the staple in Mexican cuisine. Go in there. I can even smell it from here. Yeah, right? So like, one thing that we add, we, we do we don't do the nixtamalization process, which is where you treat the corn with lye and, and grind it up. We do bring in dried uh, maseca, the dried masa flour. Yeah. One thing we do for us, though, is we toast some fresh sweet corn and we'll blend it and we'll add it oh. near the end just to kind of really elevate those flavors back that yeah. you miss from, the dried, from all the dried flour. Yeah. That's, that's amazing. And then this is the machine. This is the machine. Is that so, what cooks it or? This is um, a tortilla machine. It's a set of four kamals. Uh-huh. And it just, it cuts them up there, runs a the conveyor, and they cook one side, two side, and then flip down to cook. Oh, so it, it flips itself. Yeah, so when they come down, they flip there, and it goes around and flips. Oh, wow, yeah. And it's just the volume of, of tacos that we do is so much. And yeah, yeah. It would, be, it would be difficult to do by hand, unfortunately. <laughs> one at a time, yeah, for sure. And I love that the kitchen is here for the customers to like see you cooking and doing the tortillas. Like right by the window here. Right window here. Yeah. Then yeah, we have a lot of people who just come and look in. And yeah, and if they the see the fresh tortillas being made, they're like, I need to be here. Awesome. Well, I can't wait to try the food, guys. the owner of El Santo, Alejandro. Thank you for having us and showing this beautiful restaurant. Thanks for coming. So how did you decide to open a restaurant in New Westminster and call it El Santo? So I've been in Canada for about 25 years. Uh, I've been in the industry for about basically most of those 25 years. And as a Mexican, um, I always had the dream of like a restaurant. Um, and not that much because of the food. It's also because of a restaurant is a community. And something that I really wanted to do is that uh, I wanted to show people that Mexican food mm. is more when they, what they think. Like people think Mexican food is like something that I don't always think that is uh, the authentic Mexican. Mm -hmm. Mexican uh, food is very like diverse. That they, you have so many different areas, regions, so many different cuisines. Mm -hmm. And I really want to show people part of those cuisines, but with a Mexican, uh, with a contemporary touch. Mm -hmm. um, also showing people the hospitality of a, a Mexican family. Mm -hmm. And how did the name come about, El Santo? Uh, for me, El Santo is like a, it's a play on a couple of things. Mexico is a very Catholic country, so everyone is a saint. Yeah. San Alejandro, San Luis, and that. But also, uh, we have what is a, 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 the Batman for the Mexicans, El yeah. Santo. So El Santo is a, like an icon. Uh, he was a wrestler, no one really knew who he was. And one of the things that we wanted to do, or I wanted to do, is that show uh, the mystery of the cuisine related to El Santo, as uh, really no one ever knew how he looked. He never lost mm -hmm. his mask. Mm -hmm. uh, 
And yes, I, I, I like El Santo since I was little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, name. yeah the, the name is super catchy. Like, I can see friends getting together. Hey, let's go to El Santo. Let's have a couple drinks and have really good tacos. Um, so are you planning to expand or open not, up more? Not for now. I think that for now, I really want to focus on what we have here. Mm -hmm. We have been here for like uh, almost close to six years. And in the future, there could be a plan for something different, like a take on El Santo, but uh, not ready to show that yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, what's your favorite dish here? You know, I don't think that there is such a thing as a favorite <laughs> dish. Is like you know, yeah. uh, sometimes you're in the mood for uh, fish. Sometimes you're in the mood for uh, some people are like are in the mood for a steak. Uh, sometimes you just feel like having a taco. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. uh, everything that we have here, I really like it. Um, but There's so much variety on the Mexican food. Yeah, you lots of variety. Can, uh, you know, whatever you feel that day, you know. Yeah, and, yeah. And something that we also really like to showcase is that when you're in Mexico, like something that is really important uh, for mom, for grandma, like you don't go, like you have a freezer, but freezer is for ice cream. Mm -hmm. Something that we do is that uh, we like to get like fresh uh, produce. Uh, we mm -hmm. like to work with local farms. So we know where everything is coming from, mm -hmm. and we like to make everything as much as fresh as possible. Mm -hmm. Well, the chili relleno is insane here. Yep. Like, I don't know what Chef Sam how he thought of that layered dish, but it's amazing, and the sauces are really good. Lots of flavor. Yep. And you another thing that if you like that, the pescadito frito is one of my is one of my favorite dishes. It's a full fish, and there are not that many places in Vancouver that do the full fish. But for me, I grew up as a having full fish as, uh, in, Mex in my Mexican culture. Yeah, even in Nicaragua, right? We have They have lots of full fishes and it's really delicious. Yes. Well, I look forward to eating some amazing food today. Thank you for having us. Thank you guys. a bison tartare. Again, this is elevated Mexican cuisine. I mean, look at this. Um, you can see the spices in there, the freshness. Um, that's a freshly made tortilla, deep fried, so it gets that tostada um, crunch. And I can tell you guys that this is gonna have a lot of texture because you get that crunchy tortilla and you get that tender bison and then you get that kick of jalapeno. I've never had tartare before, and better yet, I've never had bison. Um, let's give it a try. I'm gonna just pick it up. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. What a sight. Okay, I'm gonna have to take a big bite because I have to get in, in there. Oh. Mm. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. I just get punched with like flavor. The spices. What they mix the bison with. Oh, and the bison, let me just talk about it. It's so tender, you don't even have to chew it. I love the idea of the crunchy tortilla at the bottom. Again, so much texture. Wow, my mouth is just like in flavor town right now. <laughs> I'm gonna try it again. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Wow. What a delicacy. Mm. I almost have no words because there are so many flavors going on in my mouth. The crunch of it. Actually, you know what is kicking me? Is that. Um, that black sauce at the bottom, it's like a salsa with um, a chili, but wow, very well done. I have never had this in my life, and this is such an amazing appetizer. Oh my goodness. I guess I have to share with Alfonso. <laughs> but before I do, let's take one more bite. Mm. So tender, so juicy. Oh my goodness, I highly recommended this. Lots of flavor. 
And this is how he's starting off our food tour. I cannot wait for the next dish. <laughs> what is this dish? So this is a pato con pepien. So this is a cured duck breast mm -hmm. that we then render down, sear, finish in the oven. Mm -hmm. On the bottom is a car caramelized cacao nib pepien. Mm. So pepien is, is similar in concept to a mole. Um, there's a couple of different defining characteristics. One of them is primarily pumpkin seeds or other seeds as opposed to nuts. Mm -hmm. But ours does have almonds, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, cacao nibs, uh, wow. dark chocolate, a whole bunch of chilies. Wow. And then on the plate we have some um, seared artichokes, Swiss chard, and pickled Swiss chard stems as well as the duck. Wow, amazing. I love that all of the sauces are with like chilies and all these different flavors. It's not just like one ingredient, you know? No, there's a lot that goes into, like I said, a lot of this kind of stuff that the Pipian can take a couple hours to make depending yeah. on how fish we are that day. Wow, amazing. Can't wait to try it. Thank you. <laughs> wow, guys, take a look at this amazing dish. And wow, I've never even had duck before. Oh my goodness, El Santo. I'm gonna take this knife actually. Wow, my mouth is still like full of flavor right now um, from that tartar. Let's get into this duck. Wow, look at that, it has crispy on the outside. Look at how juicy the inside is looking. Perfect cook. He, so he fried it and crisped it on the outside, cooked it in the oven. You have a beautiful like mole sauce here happening and then some anchovies. Again, uh, these dishes take many hours to prepare. It's not just one ingredient. Um, they use a lot of different ingredients and fresh, local. Let's give it a try. Wow, look at that. Juicy duck. I love the crisp, crispy on that side there. Okay, let's try. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. As I mind, every bite I take is just juices going around my mouth. And then I get that nice crunchy outside. Wow. I've never had duck and this is flavorful. So good. I want to try with that amazing sauce that they have here. Wow. Okay, let's take this. Get some of that. Oh, <laughs> that looks like a good bite. Okay. Look at that. I want to take this. I think it's spinach. <laughs> wow. Let me smell it. Oh, wow. I smell vinegar. Really nice. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. The sauce. That that tastes like has a it has a little bit of like chocolate kind of flavor in there. Like a mole. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. Because the duck on its own has so much of that juice but natural duck flavor. Um, but then when you add everything in there, the mole the collard greens maybe or spinach it takes it up a notch i want to try it with um the artichoke here there's not going to be any duck left for alfonso <laughs> so i'm going to grab the artichoke that was really easy to cut through wow and the killer is this mole sauce let's grab more of that wow Mmm. Oh wow, the anchovy just adds so much to the dish. Like the flavors. I mean, I can go on and on about the flavors that are happening in my mouth. You taste everything like individually as you're chewing. You can taste the duck. You can taste that chocolate mole, but then the artichoke just adds another dimension of flavor. This is delicious. <laughs> We are here with the main event of the evening. Look at this delicious chile relleno. So crispy on the outside. Look at the juices just dripping off. 
And then you have that amazing salsa. Um, let's have Chef Sam just describe this amazing dish for us. <laughs> <laughs> so, on the bottom of the plate we have the salsa ranchera, which you saw in that pot earlier. It's got ancho chili, um, chipotle chili, roasted tomatoes, a little bit like balsamic vinegar, onions, garlic. And then we have the whole relleno, which you, again you saw built a little bit earlier. You can see the nice caramelization. Mm -hmm. We have a charred cilantro pesto. So we make a pesto out of pumpkin seeds, cilantro, and garlic. That Is that this green the one? Or? That's the green sauce. Ah, uh, nice. And then we just a little bit of olive oil and we blend that up. And then we have an avocado lime crema. Uh. We make our own sour cream in-house. So that is our sour cream, as well as a bit of lime juice and avocado. And then some green onion just to make it look pretty. Wow, amazing. I can't wait to share with our viewers how good this is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So excited. Okay, let's get into it. So you can see here, nice and charred on top, crispy, cheesy. You can already tell this is like gonna be so comforting. I love the layers. Take a look at that inside. Wow. Amazing. Fresh out of the oven, hot. I love this layered cheese inside too. Very thick piece of cheese. The smell is just incredible. I better not take this huge bite. Better cut it in half. Oh, wow. And I'm going to add some of that amazing sauce. And the sauce is very um, thick. Like, it's not watery. Oh, wow. I can tell you guys this is the bite of the day. Mmm. I just want to chew it slowly. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I got goosebumps. I got goosebumps. <laughs> I just want to sit here and enjoy my life eating this chili relleno and eat it slowly because I want to appreciate everything that they put into it. Oh my gosh, okay. Let me bring myself back to reality here. So, you have that crispy cheese on the outside that is adds so much texture. And then the inside, I get that soft, gooey, cheesy rice flavor, but they add infused greens into the rice so it has a lot of flavor. It's not just plain rice. And then you get that extra Oaxaca cheese that just kicks it up. But the star two of the dish here. Well, everything is a star, but the sauce, guys. I gotta figure out who's the chef of the sauce here. Actually, probably Chef Sam. Because <laughs> he's been cooking up an amazing meal for us. I'm gonna try this huge bite. Wow! Look at that. Juicy, crispy, cheesy. This is a food hug. So if you're feeling like any type of emotion, you need to get this dish. It is so good. This is a big bite, but I'm gonna go for it. Mmm. 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 This is it. This is making my whole week I'm already thinking, when can I come back here and order this again? <laughs> I'm thinking, uh, thinking next week I'm gonna come back and get this again. Okay, so we're gonna finish off this amazing food with some churros. The smell is just incredible. Like, I have no words to describe it. I love how they even bring it to you. It's kind of fun, you know, it's in a little cone. They have some caramel dipping sauce to dip it in. Okay, I'm gonna grab one. Nice, hot, freshly baked or fried churros. Gonna dip it in. <laughs> wow, what a way to end this amazing meal. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> The hot inside, it's not uh, dry, it's moist, 
crunchy on the outside, well seasoned with that sugar and cinnamon and whatever little spices they have there. Um, and then of course that sauce, wow. It's just really amazing. <laughs> Simple word, it's amazing. Oh yeah. Mmm. 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 <laughs> so we have a fresh margarita here um, done from scratch. It's with triple sec, Casablanco, and fresh lime juice. They have their own um, salted rim, and then of course you get that fresh lime on the inside. And I can tell you this is gonna be amazing. Mmm. Oh wow, I need to have another one. Oh, refreshing. I need to have another one. Oh, wow. Wow. I can tell you guys, this is the place you want to be when you're having some friends over or you're having a celebration and you want to have a fresh margarita with some amazing food. Wow, this is so fun. I love this. I'm going to try it with the salted rim. Mmm. Oh, wow. These are dangerous. You can have like, you can have like three or four of these and be so happy here. <laughs> Woo, it's great. Oh my gosh, this pairs so well with the food. Um, I want to thank everybody here at this restaurant. Uh, they really elevate the Mexican food and I just have a lot of passion for sharing this restaurant and how good it is. So wow guys, what amazing food. Thank you so much Alejandro yeah, for, for having us, letting us go back in the kitchen. It's so amazing, guys. I'm gonna leave the description below where his uh, restaurant is. Um, and yeah, you have to come here. You will not be unsatisfied. It is so amazing. Thank you so much for having Thank us. You very much. We'll Bye be guys. back. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you so much. It was really great. <laughs> wow, guys, what amazing food oh my gosh I can't even describe how good all the food was there this guy really elevated the Mexican cuisine I highly suggest you come here El Santo New Westminster and don't forget to like this video subscribe and on that note just keep on dancing